I'm already working on a second book. I wanted to get my recipes out, but I felt that food handling and toxicity was of major importance. And some of us don't understand actually what that means. So um, as a surf safe certified manager, kitchen manager, and you take all the courses and you receive a certificate uh, to work as a manager in a kitchen. And that's a commercial kitchen, but it can help with any kitchen. So there's a, two different certifications. One's just for food handling. If you're just going into the food service industry to work in a kitchen or a restaurant. And the other one is to be a manager. So I took the manager course and I'm retaking it because I wanted to just make sure that what I learned the first time and I understand they have in a book. And um, so I'm modifying some things because from my experience and what I've learned and what's in my previous book, it might be your pancreas. I have information in there about food toxicity, which I believe will be very beneficial to um, responsible eating and responsible drinking in some of these restaurants. And for them to understand that some of these food handling issues aren't just contamination. This is a response the body's having from eating the same foods over and over again and getting some kind of a reaction to it. Sometimes it's a sugar uh, detox or whatever your body's going through. So food toxicity 101 is going to have ser serve safe food handling information in it. Um, Pre-cooked food versus rock food contamination versus toxicity versus allergy. You know, many of the food service industries, you know, you're very aware of allergens and there are specific foods that some people are reacting to, but we do know that the uh, anti-inflammatory diet helps to alleviate a lot of those symptoms. So that'll be a part of this book, but it'll be just it mentioned because this is all about um, all the recognition that they have in the serve safe food handling um, literature and what the kitchen and restaurateurs usually use. So it'll also have, um, you know, talking about contamination, there's biological, chemical, and physical, but I go a little bit further into contamination when it, re when it re revolves around mold. Uh, sometimes that mold is tricky. Uh, it can be in refrigerators. It can be in tubing for water dispensers. It can be in a lot of different places. And sometimes you'll notice that sometimes there's cross-contamination with an ice dispensing machine or something of that nature. So there's a lot of different things to look at. And the restaurant people really are really inundated with uh, safety measures and safety protocols. So um, I get into that a little bit and also, you know, things that we don't really take into account um, sometimes for food safety and food handling is, um, you know, the types of foods that are used to make fast food. So you're thinking that you're going through a fast food place for a salad and some of the toppings that they use and things that they throw in there they're like sort of pseudo food and they really don't have any benefit to your body. So some of those things that we're putting on our salads, you know, you, they're sort of working against yourself. So some of these things you have to be a little bit more aware of and some of the cheeses really aren't cheese. And it's, it's really um, a lot of the dairy products and things are, are sort of like just chemically made. And um, I, I really, in my, it might be your pancreas book, try to avoid dairy in general, be, uh, but some of the dairy products that are out there are really not dairy. And some of these ice cream products that we've, like I used to live off of, yeah, it's not real. So, and then it just makes things even worse because they add different things to it to flavor it. And um, sometimes uh, the fat content's way off and it's not good fat high sugar and then it's just very toxic, high osmolality and whatever. So um, they, part of the Serve Safe uh, book that I was going through that I really, really actually love um, is considered a responsible drinking, um, you know, they go into the responsible drinking aspect of it. Um, so also the uh, 
there. I'm, I'm trying to encourage in this book the responsible eating part of things because once you allow these, these um, habits for uh, filling your plate, overfilling your plate, ordering seconds and thirds, it just causes more issues and some of that falls into um, that toxicity, you know, whole bold problem there and, and leads to a lot of GI distress. So um, the other things that I cover that are all about Surf Safe are how food toxicity and foodborne illness affects a business, uh, you know, because there's a lot of fallout from that. And right now, we're seeing that a lot of restaurants are already uh, struggling and um, having trouble uh, staying open and, and they really can't get the staff they need. A lot of the people are actually sick or afraid to go to work uh, in the food industry. So in order to make it a safer place and uh, there's gotta be a whole, whole thing that you have to look at uh, to encompass what you're dealing with in um, proper staffing and giving breaks and making sure that your staff follows through with all the safety protocols they need. Um, I also address in this book why food safety handling should be a part of a high school curriculum. Because if you think about it, a lot of these high school kids come out of high school or during high school are working in the food industry. And a lot of the things that they're dealing with are with improper technique um, and actually just um, maybe overeating, undereating, uh, not taking breaks, uh, their lifestyle around that whole food industry. Uh, there's a lot of people that end up in the food industry that are really struggling to maintain a regular job outside of the food industry. But I believe that with this help of this book, and some other aspects of understanding how you can build a business that's strong with, with people in it that are working towards the same uh, goal and get a good clientele that understands what your brand is and what you're trying to put out there. So, um, you know, as, as the national, there's the NRA and then there's the NRAEF, and that's part of the National uh, Food Organization that uh, sponsors scholarships for around, um, you know, restaurants and people that are going into the food industry and using the safety protocols that they need uh, and actually just teaching safety and uh, food industry leaders in how to uh, maintain all this along the lines of serve safe and inspections and daily just keeping it in order and getting your staff to follow along. So this is going to be my next book, Food Toxicity 101. Diane Greco Allen is my name and I am a food relationship and pain coach. Have a great day, thanks.